Chuck from Monocoque Metalworks. I'm here today with a great E-Type project that is available. This car has had the restoration started already and it is well underway and all the hard stuff is done. This is a great project to get into. This is a 1969 Series 2 E-Type Roadster. It was built in late 1968. I think the build date was right around December 8th. This car is complete. It is fully numbers matching. And like I said, all the hard work has been done. All the paint is done on this car. It is in a solid British racing green. There is no metallic. I don't know if that's the original color or not. I'll try to figure that out and then in the later video segments, I'll let you know. But all the metal work is done. The metal work is good. It's had some floor repairs and it looks like the left hand outer and inner sill were replaced and the work is good. Um, it looks like the right hand is still original. Uh, floor is all solid. The paintwork is very, very good. It's still got dust on it, so I don't want to start digging away at that. The bonnet is done and in paint. The bonnet is still apart and needs to be reassembled. That is in a storage room downstairs. We're going to take you down there and show you that. As you can see, the previous owner was very meticulous. He purchased this car in 1974 when it was only five years old. He's had it ever since. It's always been indoors. And, uh, yeah, and when you take a look at the work, the work is excellent. Um, the previous owner was, his wife said a scientist. I think he was some type of engineer, but uh, you can see he's got a Spitfire racer back here. There's a 65 Corvette, very active in vintage racing. And all of the work on this and all of the parts on this are top notch. So let me go ahead and stop talking from here. I'll get behind the camera. I'll give you a walk around about what's been done, what you would need to do to finish it up. This is a great one. This could, this could be on the road pretty soon. Okay, there's a lot to cover here, so I'll just do the best that I can and try to give you an overview. Let's start with the metalwork and the paint. The work is very good. It was done quite some time ago. I don't know when. There were some painted pieces downstairs wrapped in some newspaper from 2016, so it may be from them. I don't even think the paint has been buffed out yet or anything. Uh, here's the inside of the trunk, a little dusty in there. Uh, the gas tank has, I'm sorry about the light, this is just where I am. The gas tank has all been freshened up and redone. You can see that looks like it might be a brand new gas tank. Um, fuel lines are all new. You've got all the finished paint completed inside the boot. Boot floor looks very good. I don't know whether it was replaced or not. It's kind of hard to tell right this second. Um, back here, you've got all the rear chrome is back on. It looks excellent. It looks like it may have been re-chromed at some point in the past. Uh, let's come around here. The deck lid looks very good. I don't see any issues on the underside that would indicate any damage or anything like that. Interior looks good. You can see over here, I can just tell by the rib in the inner sill that that is a replacement piece. And then there's some patches on the floors and the cross members. It looks like the floor panels have been replaced. This work was done a long time ago. Uh, here's new heel wells in here. And you can see they have a little bit of a harder crease up there. And that just dates those panels, probably going back to about the 80s. You can see very meticulous restorer. Uh, everything is tagged. And these are all new harnesses in here. Let's come around to the front and this will give you an idea. Everything's CAD plated. The brakes are all new and it looks like the system is filled with silicone dot five. So that means there's not going to be any moisture in there. The brakes are probably fine. Uh, we've got the 
can on here. I looked around, it looks like things are a combination of new restored hardware where available. I don't know if this will focus in, but these are the original GKN bolts there. We've also got the original GKN bolts in the firewall. But then over here, we've got a few stainless steel bolts. So again, a combination of original and excellent new. Uh, here's the front suspension. It's all looking the way it should. This guy was a vintage racer with some other cars. So you can see there's an upgraded sway bar there. We've got the upgraded... Uh, Brake lines in stainless steel. The only issue here is the uh, the brand new ball joint rubber gator has rotted away. So this work was done quite some time ago. And there are receipts for parts going all the way back to 2000 and earlier. This was a lifelong project. And you can just see by the detail and the quality of the work and the parts that it was really a labor of love. So everything's all painted here. We've got new mud shields in, they're painted. The frame rails are all painted up. Uh, no corners cut whatsoever. All new wiring harnesses, everything's labeled. You know, everything that's on the car is, is done up. Now, the things that aren't on the car, most of them are all restored too. So let's take a look over here. Oh, wait a minute, I do wanna show you, I showed you the front suspension. I wanna show you the rear suspension. It is all done and it is excellent. Looks like we've got maybe some upgraded springs. The shocks look normal, uh, but then this is all done up and painted in the colors that it should be. You can see we've got some rust on the brake rotors there a little bit. So this was work was probably done a while ago, but again, perfect beautiful building here that it's stored in i'm kind of sliding myself along the ground let's take a look up here brakes are all done all new brake lines there's the handbrake mechanism you can see the I'm not really sure what i'm looking at there but there's the rear all right here's a look underneath you can see a little bit of waviness where the floor has been welded on and there's a, you know, there's some weld marks here, but it's all solid work. It's all coated black paint under there. It looks excellent. Here's a look at the sills. Excellent. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. Here is the door. You can see it's in process of being fitted, but the door fits beautifully, latches beautifully, obviously the original door. And again, he bought the car when it was only five years old. So probably your typical rust in the floors from an E-type being out on the road in its first five years. And then, you know, after that, everything's good. All right, we'll come over here, bunch of parts, lots of books and older catalogs and meticulous notes. I don't wanna spill a couple pieces of chrome there. I'm sure they're the originals, but here's the Bentley manual and all kinds of original notes there. Over here is the original data plate. There is a new data plate. Um, we've got some dash panels there. There's the gearbox cover. We've got a new dash pad in there. You can see the dash panels have been plated on the back side. There's your air cleaner plenum. Can't believe I haven't gotten tongue tied yet. <laughs> Here's some new hoses. Looks like we've got two alternators, probably the original and a brand new one. Here is, it looks to me like this is the original harness, all labeled. And even that looks to be in really good condition. There's, of course, the original center console. So you're getting an idea. I think this car was originally British Racing Green. Um, and then obviously it had this color interior. Some people call that cinnamon. Some people call it saddle. All right, here is the engine and gearbox. I have checked the numbers. They are original to this car. Obviously, this was sitting around in the same room where the car got uh, sprayed in the green paint, so there's overspray on it, but it is not wet overspray. It's like dry overspray. So I, when I was checking the numbers, the, the green overspray wiped right off. Um, and the engine is nice and greasy where it should be. See, that just that wiped off that way with a hand wipe. 
So we've got a layer of grease and dust and then another layer of like some paint overspray. Original carbs are still on there. It's all complete. It's got the E-type oil pan, obviously, and everything looks good that way. So I don't know the condition of the engine. I don't know if it ran when it was brought home. Uh, but again, you know, came off the road and went into this gentleman's hands in 1974. So it only had five years on it. I don't know what the mileage is because all of the gauges have been rebuilt and we'll show you them downstairs. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. There is a lot of stuff down there. Okay, we're down under the car right now in a storage room and there's lots of stuff in here. So we will start with the bonnet. It's all been painted. It looks very, very good. And uh, I think it just needs to be maybe buffed down. I don't know what paint has been used, but I'm sure people could figure that out. Looked up here and the nose looks excellent. Looks good that way. Again, everything's covered in dust down here and some of it's a little dustier than others there's the there's the wings there here's the uh inner valances the air ducts here's the lower valance i should have uncovered this but again excellent excellent the lighting's not the best but this all looks very good okay over here we have lots of parts and there's kind of two of everything because all the original stuff is here and the uh, new parts are here. So for example, there's the bonnet screen, but there's a brand new one over there in a box. And there's a couple spare wheels. Now, that was a series one, must've come from somewhere along the way. That's a series two, maybe that's the original spare. Here is uh, some interior pieces in there. There's a bunch of the original interior stuff, so you're really getting an idea on the color there. And there's actually some what's left of the door panels in here and some door panel chrome. There are some new undershields that are painted black. Uh, over here, what do we have? Oh, a bunch of wiper blades. There's the vacuum reservoir and some other pieces. Looks like the original seat belts and some of the original uh, weather stripping. There's a whole new set of the earlier ear knockoffs. And then here's pieces that were powder coated and looks like they didn't make it back onto the rear. So it looks like he skipped the dust shields and then these little shock shields. And then there's some other uh, pieces there. Uh, what's under there? I think under there are some, can't really look right now. There's some chrome pieces under there. I think it was side mirrors and things. Uh, there's some more stuff. A bunch of girling boxes, probably pieces that were used to rebuild the brake system. And like we said, that's all got dot five in it. There's a bunch of turn signals. I can't remember if they were, I think the rears were on the car up there. All right. There are the headlamp pieces. There's the original heater. Looks like it's been dropped or whacked, so that could be fixed up. We've got two brand new radio consoles there. Some weather stripping and some other pieces. This looks like the original rear springs and they've obviously been replaced with new. All right, here's some pieces there. There's the old brake bottles, more pieces. There's the, I forgot to mention, the radiator appears to be an aluminum radiator painted black. And so there's the original radiator. All right, I, the rear is together and in it and the brake rotors looked good. This is the original rear brake rotors and two more pairs of new rear brake rotors. So I don't know why there are so many rear brake rotors. Here are a bunch more uh, pieces that are painted up. There are the front bumper brackets for the bonnet and they're painted in that same green. A uh, lot of black pieces there for the front sway bars, but he's got that bigger sway bar on there. So that's the original sway bar stuff. There's some bonnet hinge pieces. There's the drive shaft. And somewhere there's a little stack of two 
brand new U joints. I don't know where that went to. I probably stuck it in the box. Um, in one of the boxes, there's a pair of bonnet scissors that are painted up green. This looks like another pair that's in a CAD plate. The convertible top frame or the, the boot, oh, hood frame. Sorry, I get getting a little mixed up between my British and American stuff here. But there's the hood frame. The front header pan looks excellent. Uh, the bows are good. It's been taken apart and some things have been plated, so there's part of it. There's the steering column. It's been completely rebuilt and detailed. Excellent. There are brand new uh, heat shields for the brake reservoirs. All right, you got a new lower windshield chrome, new indicator strip. We come over here, there's a bunch of things in there. New, I've never even seen these new before. Those are the defroster things. There's a new uh, radio console fascia. There's the switches for the dash. Here's the lower steering column. You've got the rear. This is the rear sway bar. And then there's the original front. There is the front chrome. I don't know if it's been re-chromed or what. It's a little dusty, but it's all nicely painted black on the inside. And then over here, somewhere is that box. Here it is, right here. All of the gauges have been completely restored. They are absolutely beautiful. There's the tack. Okay, I went ahead and took the restored speedometer out of the bag. It did originally have 68,411 miles. Absolutely beautiful, looks brand new. Every one of the gauges has a tag on it here from West Valley Instruments in California where it was restored. So just shows you the level of detail and care that has gone into every piece of this car. This one hasn't made it back onto the car yet, but it is just beautifully restored like everything else. Okay, coming down the home stretch, here's a couple more small boxes, but you can see we've got all of those original clamps. Over here, we've got original nuts and bolts and more of the original little clamps. There's original springs for the bonnet scissors. Looks like we've got a throttle linkage piece. So again, just speaks to the care and meticulous work that has gone into the car so far. So I've looked everything over. I don't see any glaring omissions. I believe it is all here. I've gone through the entire house, garage, basement, you know, room by room and pulled out every part for the E-Type and it's all here. And whoever takes the car will get every part. So have no fear, it's all here. Okay, so normally I do my closing video back standing in front of the car again, but you don't need to look at me anymore. So I'll just talk while I'm continuing to go around the car and just show you this high level of detail. This is a great project. This gets you past the point that everyone gets stuck on, which is the metal work and the paint. And so you can bring this home, you can tear down the engine. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in really good shape in there. You know, this is the type of thing that probably ran or almost ran when it was brought back here. Um, and so you're gonna get the engine freshened up, send that out to a machine shop, and then while that's happening, go ahead and clean this all up and just pick right up where this owner left off, continuing to move forward and bolt on all those uh, pieces that are restored downstairs. There is not an interior kit. I checked the whole house and it's just not here. So it looks like he hadn't gotten that far yet. Uh, there's some writing about different color schemes. So maybe he was trying to decide on what the color would be. Obviously these seats are original but covered in some type of vinyl uh, covers. So you would then purchase the interior kit and work on that going in while the engine's uh, coming back from the machine shop or whatever you're doing there. Then you've got to put the bonnet together and bolt that on. But you, this has really been turned into more of an assembly project than anything else. In addition, 
all of the, aside from you're gonna have to put the engine in, the heavy lifting is done and all of the dirty work is done. Look at the room that this is in. I mean, I'm actually not even in my steel-toed shoes. I'm wearing Crocs because I, I feel like I'm in a clean room and that's really what this is. So if I didn't have so much stuff going on, I'd be tempted to take this myself. This is gonna be fabulous. What more could you want? British Racing Green, it's all original. It's matching numbers. Um, and I just think that this is gonna be a great project for somebody. So I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna put this video together and see if we can find this old girl a new home where she's finished up and back on the road. Thanks for watching.